God bless you. Good morning. Good afternoon. It is January 11, 2017. Hard to get used to saying that, 2017. I want to thank Maria for such a beautiful card that you sent to me. It is so precious. I just love it. You know, I had a dog that was a white German Shepherd and a golden retriever and she looked just like this dog <laughs> she was like the cover dog you know of those calendars that you see the, all those uh, golden retrievers and white german shepherds are just beautiful when they are babies and um, we always prayed over all of our animals and uh, it was amazing the years that they would live and i truly believe it was because we would pray over all of our animals, our cars. We pray over everything. Pray over people, pray over your cars, because um, I truly believe that the Lord honors these kinds of things. Dear Sister Susan, God bless you, and happy, blessed New Year. I just love it. You know, when believers say, uh, instead of just saying Happy New Year, they'll say, Happy Blessed New Year. That's so awesome to me because it, it just puts it where it is, you know, that we are to be a people that is blessed. May our Heavenly Father rain down. That's the key right there. That just confirmed what I felt like I wanted to share with you today that the Lord was dropping into my spirit. Let, uh, may our Heavenly Father rain down many blessings to you your family ministry and body of christ today and always forever keeping you in my prayers love you thank you for always being on point with your encouraging videos and messages always thinking thanking god for you with love and um i just uh you guys are a blessing such a precious blessing to me. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, I just can't tell you how much because it this this is physical proof we are connected. This is physical proof that our hearts are touching each other. The Lord is answering our prayers when we pray for each other. God is moving. The testimonies, all of the emails, everything that comes through, I just thank God because it's just another witness. God's power is so real, so true, and he's doing such awesome things these days that we are living in. God is amazing us with his awesomeness and, and how he's answering a lot of our prayers and, and that kind of thing. So I just wanted to uh, share the word rain just jumped out at me because, of course, I've been driving in rain today, living in California and, um, you know, seeing all of these, the rain on the windshield and, and looking up at the sky and seeing these clouds that are just breathtaking. And it's like the clouds are parting and you'll see heavy, dark clouds on one side and then you'll just see this sky in the middle of it and then you'll see this this one cloud a couple different places we looked it was this cloud that just came right down it just looked like and and uh, i had my grandson in the car i said what does that look like to you he said grandma that just looks like god is speaking <laughs> it's so great you know the children they just like see the whole thing <laughs> just ask a child because children are, are so open to everything and thank you for your donation as well in Jesus' name, we thank you, Father God, for everyone. I thank you for everyone that has donated and also praying for the ministry. So I wanted to read a little bit about rain. I went, I want to uh, thank Beatrice for the divinity code she sent me. I just dearly love it. And so, of course, I thought I'm going to go to this and see what it says about rain. Because it seems like we are in a season, especially even watching the farewell message from Obama, President Obama, that he uh, gave 
yesterday, his farewell speech, the tide is turning, the new uh, election, you know, is happening. We see the new president coming in. And also we see the God's showering his blessing on us as believers. I So I wanted to read just a little bit and I'm just going, we're just believing God, the Holy Spirit, that he's going to give you that special word, what this means for you personally. So we thank you, Father, and we trust that you are showing each of us what this means for us individually and also as a body, Father, so that we can do everything you want us to do and move throughout the day with your blessing and knowledge, Father, that, that we're moving in that right direction. Okay. Rain, revival or resurrection. Okay. So this, uh, the rain, and if it's not raining physically where you are, I know a lot of country, a lot of states in the United States uh, are experiencing really, really cold weather. And um, we are in California as well. We are experiencing very, very cold weather. So revival or resurrection. So I want to read a little bit James 5, 8, uh, 16 through 18. Confess your trespasses one to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. So you see, our prayers availeth much. Our prayers, when we come to the Father and we ask him, Oh, Father, we just leave this in your hands. We don't know what to do, but we know you know what to do about this. And so we pray God's perfect will for our loved ones. So as we pray, you've got to know that as God is bringing the rain, God is bringing his answers to your prayers. That is truly a blessing to know that you are praying and your prayers because you are righteous in the eyes of the Lord because you're covered by his blood. So your prayers avails much. So it will bring an answer. God is already moving and answering your prayers. Revival or resurrection. So many of us, you know, uh, we pray together for that marriages would be healed. Uh, spouses would, you know, line up with the word of God. Children, uh, that we pray for their safety when you send them off to school and so on. And for many of the ones that are just wanting a closer walk with the Holy Spirit, you're just craving that intimacy with God, that God will rain on you his revival in you. Okay, number two, favor of God, favor of God. And I always say, it's grace, grace, which is unmerited favor, something we did not do. We did not earn it. We don't deserve it. Only through the blood of Jesus do we have the favor of God. I can attest to this every single time I go out. Every single time I go out, the front parking places, the people just pull out as I'm pulling in. It's the timing. It's everything. You just know that you know that you know. You don't have to have someone step up and say, you are blessed. You know you're blessed when you walk in this daily favor judgment, 
from on high is number three that rain brings in judgment and we know this because we see as we pray for people many times the best prayer that i will pray for people is father show them themselves show them father in the name of jesus we just pray that you show that person so that they see themselves as you see them father and this is a wonderful prayer i feel to pray so this will bring conviction for whatever needs to be con if there is and something that needs to be a person needs to be convicted of god will deal with them better to pray and have god bring it to them than for you and i to try to tell them over and over again because many times you and i are the last ones that they will listen to but they will listen when the holy spirit himself brings that judgment that conviction and they see themselves in the mirror as God sees them. Number four, rain brings fruitfulness. Oh, thank you, Father God, for Deuteronomy 11, uh, number 10, for the land which you go to possess is not like the land of Egypt from which you have come, where you sowed your seed and watered it by its foot as a vegetable garden, but the land which you cross over to possess is a land of hills and valleys which drinks water from the rain of heaven. The rain of heaven. Thank you, Jesus. A land for which the Lord your God cares. The eyes of the Lord your God are always on it from the beginning of the year to the very end of the year. Reminds me of that song the Lord gave me when it was raining. Uh, he said, step to the door. And I stepped to the screen door and he said, what do you hear? And I said, well, I hear this and that and that. And I named several things. And he says, listen to the rain dropping miracles for you. Listen to the rain. Listen to it coming down through the trees and touch the ground all the way from heaven to you. Listen to the rain. Listen to the rain. Listen to my rain, the Lord says to you, for it is bringing fruitfulness. Thank you, Father God. The other one, number five, word of God. The rain brings the word of God. Even my grandson, he looked up and he said, Grandma, it looks like God is speaking. God is speaking. You know, whenever we look up in the heavens and we see clouds, we, see, we hear the thunder, we see the lightning. How can you not think of God? God Almighty, for we know surely that this is not something that we can make up, but these things are created by the Creator, God Almighty. And so every time we see rain, we think of the Word of God that is as sharper than any two-edged sword. Number six, rain brings spiritual life. Thank you, Father God, that when we look up and we see your rain, it draws us closer to you. It awakens the spiritual part of us that draws and wants to be close with you and have that communion with you that is constant daily. So we thank you for that. Number seven, rain brings abundance, abundance, abundance. It reminds me of when we pray and he says, See if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour out, pour out until you are overflowing. See if I am not good. So we see that rain brings abundance, 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 abundance. Number eight, rain brings teaching 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 reminds me of my people perish for lack of knowledge if we don't have knowledge of god in us and how will they know except uh, that 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 you they be sent but 
God Almighty sends his Holy Spirit. And he said, I will lead you and guide you into all things. Pick up a Bible. Ask the Holy Spirit. He is a teacher of teachers. He is the teacher Jesus sent. And he is always available to you 24-7. Thank you, Father God, that your reign brings teaching. Teaching. Number nine, rain brings winter. And of course, when I think of winter, I think of all of the cleansing. Everything is renewed, refreshed, and revitalized. And it's like it's starting over again. And also, it's as though in this day that we find ourselves in, Strange things are happening with the rain that we never thought we would see before, but yet we do. So I want to move in now to a testimony that uh, Roger sent in. God bless you, Susan. Strange things are happening here in Ottawa, Canada. We are in the grip of winter. The grip. Winter is gripping them up there. And out of nowhere, a raccoon appears at our patio doors. They are supposed to be in hibernation until spring. We're going through another snowstorm. What could have caused it to wake up? God knows. My dogs were acting strangely last night. Thank you for your ministering tonight, Susan. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you always. So we see that even so, this new season that we find ourselves in, when we are right at the catching away, right before the time when the Lord is coming to take us a home, to be with him, we see all of these strange things that we never thought we would see. And uh, the rain ushers it in. The rain ushers it in. And so I want to now share, Diana wrote, and she said, Dear Sister Susan, a few days ago I had a dream of the rapture. It started with my husband and I at a restaurant where he works. I was looking for a job and people were just going about their day. It was getting dark and I looked out the window and I saw a woman with her daughter looking up at the sky and taking pictures. I got close to the window to look up to see what they were seeing. It was unbelievable. I'm not sure how to describe it. It was as if the stars were rushing by us in beautiful designs. I ran outside screaming, oh my God. As soon as I was outside, I fell to my knees and I started praying and calling out to God with my eyes fixed on the sky. All of a sudden, a man and two other came out of the earth. He had white complexion and red hair. To his left was a creature and to his left a dark figure. Everyone turned to look at him while I was wondering why they found that more interesting than what was happening in the sky. At that moment, millions of balloons of all colors appeared, forming a gigantic wall and started to move towards the people. When the balloons touched some people, they completely disappeared and others were just standing there staring at the red haired man, not seeing what was happening. Well, I can tell you what that is very clear to me, very clear to me, very clear. Some of it, um, I feel led to share what I, and, and there's a part in here that I don't feel led to, to uh, publicly talk about. But the part I will tell you that I see in this is definitely the catching away. The balloons forming a wall. It's amazing. Very, very symbolic things. God has surely shown you. Uh, Diana, there's no doubt in my mind, this is totally from the Lord. You know, when the Lord gave me a dream of the rapture, the catching away, uh, 
<clears throat> all of these long ribbons, gold colored, you know, different ribbons, they're all different colors. And everyone was saying, catch one, just reach up and grab it. Well, here you're seeing balloons and the, all of these things are the, the symbolism that God is coming for us. And it, you know, to each of us, it's like going up a different side of the mountain. We're all going to be shown something a little bit differently by, by the Lord. But the main thing here is you are seeing the catching away of the bride. And the reason some people weren't even looking, but they were staring at the red haired man. Who do you think that is? I don't believe that is somebody that is going up as he was here on the earth. The people were watching him, but the people that are not born again and not looking for the catching away of the Lord will have their eyes fixed on them. And meanwhile, the believers will be caught up looking at the Lord's coming for them. So I thank you, Father God, for this day. We thank you for your presence in our life. Thank you for your reign. Thank you for your love for us. We ask you to keep us this day in all of our ways. Thank you for your favor with us, Father God. Father, we pray for the nations. We pray for the nation that we are in specifically, that you help our leaders, Father, but we know that you are bringing all things to pass, Father God, in the name of Jesus. So we're going to be looking for that rain. We're going to be thanking God for the revival, the favor, the judgment, the fruitfulness, the word of God, the spiritual life, the abundance, the teaching, and the winter in Jesus' name. In Jesus name we leave these things at the altar at the altar and we just trust the Lord that he is going to fulfill everything with us in Jesus name that he has for us to do I love you have a blessed day in the Lord
Cause I might slip away 